Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to talk about direct event binding in Unreal Engine. This is a very efficient and effective form of blueprint communication. And so what I'm going to show you is how to put a blueprint in the scene, a box trigger that will communicate to the blueprint third person. So to get started with this, we're just going to right click. We're going to go to blueprint class, actor, double click into it. We'll leave it called new blueprint. This is so easy. It's not even funny. We're going to add a box collider here. We're going to thicken up the lines a little bit. And then we just got to come down here to input. We can look for input. We got to go on the blueprint itself and go to input and change it from disabled to player 01 and just compile and save it. And believe it or not, that's all we have to do with that trigger, this blueprint trigger. So we're just going to drag this and put it over here by this ramp. I might just go ahead and stretch it out a little bit like that. And we're done. So now I'm just going to jump into the third person template right here. Double click, double click. And what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and we're going to right click and search for get actor of class right here. And then we're going to set this to the new blueprint that we just created. And then we're just going to pop this into here like that. And then for ease and future reference, we can just right click on this and promote that to a variable. And I can just call it new BP reference, just so I know that it's there for future reference. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag off of here and search for bind overlap. And you see this one, bind event to on begin overlap right there. And we're just going to pop this in like that. Then we're going to drag off of here and create a custom event like that. It doesn't matter what we call that. And then off of here, we're just going to print a string and it's going to say box triggered. And now we have this effective communication between one blueprint and another. So I just compile and save this. And now when I go hit play, when I cross this ramp, I should get a print string. See, box triggered. and I escape, no errors. So anyway, this is just a super efficient way to have two blueprints communicating with each other. Oh, one more thing. I wanted to show you how memory efficient this was because if we right click on here, look at this. See how little memory that this is taking up? But if we were trying to communicate any other way, like there's a number of ways, like let's say get actor of class and then I set it to the BP third person here, right? BP third person right there. And I hook this up like that. And I compile and save. And now look, if I click here and I look at my size, see what happened? So it's just a super lightweight way of communicating with blueprints. I just wanted to make that point. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.